Let me go and see this away from this guy. Get this hundred percent on all the faces. Oh, good. You're both here. Bardock dragged Mira into the time rift, and something happened. I'd like to show both of you just exactly what had happened. Show us. But what could possibly have happened? It's easier if I just show you. Here, look. What the? Can't shake him off. How oh, is he so strong? <gasps> Don't. <sighs> how can how can someone so weak overpower me? How dare you make a fool of me? This time, it's not about the Saiyan. Son Kakarot. I'm here for payback. Never underestimate a Saiyan's power. Get ready. How could I, by the likes of you? Nobody around to get in our way. Seems like the perfect opportunity to me. You can't leave my body. You regret how you made me strong. The very strength I got from you. Prepare yourself. Expect to be able to hold out his anger. This monster keeps 
keeps increasing his power as he's fighting. I don't like to get angry yet. Definitive proof of my strength. Proof? That Toa woman? So that's your reason for fighting? You're a lot dumber than I thought. What you say? You're strong. I'll give you that. To you. The one with the higher power level, not you. But all your numbers. We are dumber than I thought. Seems you have some semblance of motor skills. Until the next lesson, then. I... I lost. <laughs> I... always wondered what it would feel like. That thing they have, that I don't. I think that I understand what it is now. Wow! Bardock managed to defeat Mira! Unbelievable! Mira ignored Toa's orders in the final battle, in a bid to push himself beyond his limitations. It seems like this fight with Bardock has really caused Mira's very nature to change deep down. That's all well and good, but what'll happen to Bardock now? When Mira regained consciousness, Bardock was no longer there. Yes, but what does that mean? From the instant their battle ended, until the time Mira regained consciousness, history just disappeared. 
It appears that the clash of all those superpowers in one location caused some kind of anomaly in the Time Rift. What does everyone else think happened to Bardock? That battle was fought with such sheer intensity that if the rift did rupture, it wouldn't exactly be a surprise. When you think about it that way, Bardock could have been sucked into a whole other dimension. The thing is, I heard turning Super Saiyan 3 comes at the expense of extreme exhaustion. Yeah, but with such a sudden awakening and violent explosion of power, he could have obliterated himself. Well, they're both possibilities, that's for sure. Well, if he's still alive, we'll probably bump into him again sooner or later. We have to get back to our investigations into history. Right. Yes, ma'am. Thanks for all your help, Trunks. You were really great. This isn't like the same thing we're playing. Oh, it's you. Huh? So, Trunks isn't with you? Don't worry. I asked Trunks to take care of another assignment. Seems there's been yet another change in history. Ordinarily, I would ask you to fix the alteration right away, but I want you to take a look at this first. Well, let's get cracking! Trunks, you came from the future, didn't you? So Bulma was able to finish her time machine. I'm really proud of you, Trunks. Thanks. Right. It's not the time for this. 17 and 18 are attacking the city. You're right. And this time, go on. Go on. I'll go with you to fight. This time. This time. I won't hold you back. What are you saying? You know you're not allowed to do that, Trunks. Gohan here. You'll change the course of history. I... I know. But I... Trunks? Please, you have to stop Trunks. Trunks. Is there something you want to tell me? I... If you're here, all grown up, then the future is safe, isn't it? And so... This fight has a real purpose. That's enough for me. No! You can't! Go on! Trunks. It looks like you've made a good friend. You can't abandon a good friend, can you? It's really good to see you, Trunks. You're alive? We'll fix that soon enough. Kill him now! Use the full power! The last time I fought, I barely even used half of my true power. And this time, we are number one. You don't think I can. see that. But, there's no way I'm pulling back. What are you doing here? I made up my mind. I can't abandon you. Not now. Let's continue. 
from before. I don't know what kind of trick you have, but growing a few inches won't be enough to save them. Don't be so sure about that. to such pathetic animals. I hope you finally come to understand the significance of many years of practice and training. Please, lend me your strength. Your strength to end this battle for good. everything I'm not running anywhere I won't leave you behind a second time don't worry about me no I won't leave you here to die I came here to save you Everyone, I will avenge all of you.
that's your limit, you have let me down. It's over. It looks like we won. Those androids have been vanquished. Peace again at last. Looking forward to a little bit of rest. Feels good already. Trunks? Why did you come? I thought I told you to stay away. <clears throat> Don't you know you shouldn't come here? You're right. It's unforgivable. And now I can never return to that world again. But I just couldn't. I just couldn't bear to see history plagued by any more unhappiness. Or a future like that one. Trunks. It's fine. I don't regret my decision. We did. <clears throat> You're right. Seeing as you saved me, I think I've already said too much. Trunks, I really owe you one. It's thanks to you that we were able to beat the androids. You've turned into a really strong fighter, my friend. Thanks, Galan. We could use someone as strong as you to help protect this world. So, what do you say? I'd be honored. When Cell shows up a few years from now, the two of us should be able to beat him easily. We need to destroy Cell's eggs in this era. Oh, and we need to do something about the slumbering Boo, too. Cell? Boo? What are you talking about? Look, I know what the future has in store. I have to use that knowledge to restore peace. Amazing. You're like our very own crystal ball or something. First things first, though. We need to tell the Bulma and Trunks of this era that the androids have finally been defeated. And I need to get you all introduced, too. Uh, uh, sure. I think Mom will be a little shocked to find out she suddenly gained an extra son. Don't sweat it. She'll be happy to hear the extra pitter-patter of little feet. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Well, would you look at that? This change in history came about from the conflict with Trunks. Hmm. Well, if you ask me, that must have happened when Trunks met with the Gohan of this timeline. This history is all wrong, but I'm sure a peaceful future awaits further down the line. It's possible that could be the future Trunks is so intent on reaching. Maybe, but... Leaving changes in history is dangerous. They could be the catalyst for further deviations. Just like this one here. What do you think? Do you think we should fix this distortion? Or should we leave the timeline as it is? If I fix it, I might have to kill Go on. I know what's gonna happen if I fix it. Let's leave it. Hmm. Perhaps you're right. All right then. I understand just how you feel. I'll bear in mind all of what has already been said, but the final decision is still mine. Well, yeah. good job, kid.
Ya tenemos que ya tenemos. stories and stories of check it out later so thank you guys for watching peace and i'll see you guys more gameplay in the future